In Akos Vinchos in central Peru, farmers are busy planting quinoa, which they will harvest later this year. The price of quinoa nearly doubled in Peru last year, after the price had already tripled since 2006. Like other farmers living here, Victor Kispe also grows and sells vegetables such as peas, corn and beans. But he says devoting more of his farmland to produce quinoa will make life easier for his family. A growing number of health conscious consumers in Western countries and within Peru are eating more of the Andean plant than ever before. Quinoa is rich in protein, high in fibre and contains many minerals and vitamins. A decade ago, few Australians knew it existed, but today shoppers will often pay more than $10 for half a kilogram of packaged quinoa in supermarkets. 46-year-old Peruvian farmer Wenceslao Quispe is optimistic he will sell his quinoa harvest for the equivalent of almost five Australian dollars a kilo. In this region, those sort of prices are enough to encourage many poor farmers to stop eating quinoa and instead sell their entire harvest. But Wenceslao Quispe still keeps enough for his family to consume. Este año, casi mayoría han decidido sembrar quinoa porque, como les digo, en el gobierno parte del mercado no se está apoyando, no con la promoción. Entonces, confiamos en esa promoción también del gobierno. Most of the world's quinoa is grown in Peru and Bolivia, countries where malnutrition and poverty are common. While selling quinoa generates a greater income for farmers and provides them with a way out of poverty, high prices also mean that Peruvians who don't live on farms are increasingly unable to afford quinoa. Health workers say this is putting more families at risk of malnutrition, which can impair intellectual development in children, cause heart failure and make the body more prone to illness. In the Peruvian Andes, nearly one quarter of children under five are chronically malnourished. World Vision's permaculture program in Cusco aims to help Peruvian farmers meet demand and still have access to quinoa for their families. But World Vision says the program needs more support. Estamos viendo que puede, puede ser riesgoso por el tema de la comercialización y el precio, del acceso de familias que sí tienen posibilidades de comprarlas y, y el riesgo de que las familias que no tienen esta posibilidad de comprar dejen de consumir este alimento que es muy rico en proteína de origen vegetal. Este, este, la quinoa tiene mucho, mucho contenido de, de nutrientes que va a contribuir a que se reduzca la, la malnutrición en los niños, en, en los contextos, en las regiones donde viene trabajando World Vision. Peru's capital, Lima, is home to more than 8.5 million people, with many living in impoverished neighbourhoods. Lima resident and student Ruth Dela Cruz says it's easy to find quinoa dishes in restaurants. But she says families living in the city's poorer suburbs are strongly feeling the effects of quinoa's rising price. Oh, well, I think in the price have impact in some families because in Peru exists different different level of families. The the poor family they don't they don't have the possibility for buying quinoa. It's so expensive. Uh, usually they prefer to eat rice. It's more cheaper than quinoa. But others still believe it's important to eat quinoa regularly. Flora Mamane's family still manages to eat quinoa five times a week, but she must cut other foods to ensure her grocery bills don't increase too much. Sí, porque hay, digamos, trato de comprar menos arroz y trato de comprar más quinoa, de consumir más quinoa, ¿no? O más, este, trato de consumir menos eh, carnes rojas y consumir más quinoa, ¿no? Entonces balancea. se balancea, o sea, hay un balance, ¿no? Entonces y no Se puede decir que no afecta mucho a mi economía porque yo sé que la carne me cuesta más caro que la quinoa. Entonces, sé que la quinoa es muy, nutri o sea, muy nutritiva y, y por eso. ¿no? Despite the problems that higher prices are causing within Peru, 
Farmers like Rocio Rocopino hope people continue to consume even more quinoa. She says quinoa provides one of the few opportunities for her to earn enough money to send her children to a good school.